entire development process, you can kind of think about it as a three-step process. One part of that would be the mold design. The other part of that would be the, the design of the construction. And the third part would be the, uh, the formulation of the compound. We can change the mold shape, look at the, uh, the stress areas, and see the, uh, the effect of the mold shape on the area uh, in the belt edge and the shoulder of the tire and the lower sidewall of the tire and so on. Most of the time what we're doing is making a small change to an existing tire by changing the tread compound, for example. From a development standpoint, there's basically two functions. And when we talk about the actual rubber compounding, one of the biggest influences is at the granular level, at the micro level, is the asphalt itself. What it's made out of, what it's composed of, and then anything that we might have conditioned at racetrack over the years. So it's a place like Indianapolis where it's been ground, or we go to a place like Texas or Atlanta where it's very, very abrasive. There's many different surfaces, and that leads as a major input into uh, the rubber compounding and then what we end up bringing back as the tire itself. One of the most important things that there's no substitute for is on-track experience. We'll bring drivers to, uh, to the new track surface and we'll get on the track and start testing. The inside shoulder of a right side tire is really exposed to the most harsh operating conditions. We always try to translate from the track to the street and nowadays we actually go from the street back to the track. And the idea behind multi-zone actually came out of the consumer business where we have a tire, the triple tread, where you have a performance zone, a wet zone, and a snow zone. This is Goodyear's triple tread technology. They took some of this technology and are basing it for their new Goodyear dual zone tire for the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series on the inside of the tire. A very hard compound for endurance so it doesn't wear out, but on the outside of the tire, high traction, a softer tread. We have 43 drivers, we have 43 crew chiefs, and we got 30 owners. But we have a sound and proven development process, and that's really what drives what we bring to the next race. Now, none of my engineers actually sit in the car, so we have a major input from the drivers and the crew chiefs on what they think, and we make sure that that whole process brings that culmination of data together so that we bring the most balanced package that we can for the next event.